What's going on? Welcome to After the Show. After the Show is the... After Party. Uh, I was okay. waiting for you to say it. Why? I never say it. You always say it. I was waiting for you to say it. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Franchise Jay Claxton and his lovely lady to my left is Dr. Kaz Vaughn. How are you doing today? Man, I am amazing. It is one of my favorite holidays okay. that we're filming, even though the show will be showed later. Okay. Um, And I have someone that I couldn't love them any more than I love most men in my life. Are you? Okay. I mean, of course I love you the most. No, I, I wasn't going to say nothing. Oh, I, okay. I was just, okay. <laughs> okay. I, I was just okay. trying to get where you was okay. going. That's it. Yeah, I'll tell, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but um, someone that, you know, this is a full circle moment for us, actually, okay. because I'll fathers are very close we grew up together our parents have always worked together but this is a full circle moment actually for us where we're actually doing something together mm -hmm. and he is an incredible human being i love him to death he's my brother my cousin my god brother my friend like i'll call him and throw some things on him real quick and he'll throw some things real bad right. he could be in asia saudi arabia it doesn't matter he, he's always going to hit me back. And so I'm excited because we have no other than Pastor Jamal Bryant in the right. house today. Right. He's yeah. going to talk about Hip Hop is 50. He's going to talk about his Grammy. Okay. Right? right. And everything that we need to know about what's going on in our culture. Okay. And then we also have a writer and director, right. Courtney from The Reading. And right. of course, you know, he is you know, hometown Monique in BET's right. hit show, The Reading. Right. But first, let's get to these stories, okay? okay? Okay. Um, Let's talk about something. Have you noticed that they have now shot down four unidentified objects? So, you know, I, I actually seen Chris Brown uh, put up a post, and Chris is like, do not let these folks fool you. UFOs and all of this stuff been going on forever. He was like, yo, I know that this sounds a little crazy, but do not let them tell you this has been going on for a while. This is Chris Brown, and he just posted that. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I For some reason, okay. I do feel like we, we are not the only people here, maybe. Okay. Oh, that's In the your universe. Thought. That's your thought. I mean, he might have a point. He that's might have a thought. point. That, that, that's your thought? What do you think? You don't um, believe in UFOs and none of that? You think nobody lives on the moon? I believe that um, we probably should not inhale. <laughs> oh no! I, you know I don't. You know I don't. And I believe we shouldn't sip a lot of bourbon. <laughs> right. No, and I and it I. Ain't, sounds a little odd to me. No, hey, I, you know, I, ain't, I ain't had a drink. I don't drink on the week anymore. Okay, well that's good. Right. Um, and I maintain then, my figure. And then rest in peace. True Goy the Dove of De La Soul. Yeah. Uh, True Goy the Dove passed away uh, this weekend. Um, 54 years old. I think he has some other problems, some other health issues as well. And, um, you know, rest in peace, uh, epic, classic, you know, group that has made a bunch of amazing music and they have never, ever, ever conformed to what was new or what was trending or what was hot. They always did what they always did. So, you know, uh, rest in peace, True Boy the Dove, and True Boy is actually yogurt spelled backwards, just in case you didn't know. That. I didn't know that. Right. Um, I didn't know that at all. However, did you see the Grammys? I know you saw the Grammys, but you know what was special to me about the Grammys? What? Is Jay-Z and Blue Ivy. Right. Well, um, well, Jay usually brings, you know, Blue Ivy, Grammy, Super Bowl, all of that stuff. Jay-Z usually has her with him. So... Um, it's kind of what we expect, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's just, he, she had all the Laker games. It's just what we expect now. You know, I, I love, I love seeing men being fathers, which is why I'm so excited about our next guest, as I told you. We have Pastor Jamal Bryant, right. Dr. Jamal Bryant. Right. Um, he has earned his doctorate, and I tell everybody, when you earn those letters, right. yeah, make sure that you are addressed that way. You know how I feel well, about I'm that. Well, co I'm coming, so... Oh Jamal, God. listen, before we bring you on set, I need your help. You know what I mean? I, listen, I'm, I'm coming. I'm, 
What you got? Oh, that's a past. I'm coming, man. I'm following in your footsteps. You the big man, bro. Come up in the room. It's room at the cross. All right, man. I appreciate oh that. Don't be, Don't be mad. Don't be mad. So, uh, welcome to the show, Jamal. I'm so happy to have you. Like I said earlier in our intro, this is a full circle moment for you and I. Um, growing up together, watching each other as we grow. Um, I'm. Let me just start off with saying I am so proud of you. I appreciate everything that you've done for our culture. I love the fact that you do not stay in a box and that you make sure that you you show us how to think outside of the box. And yeah. I appreciate everything that you've done. I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your guidance. Let me stop you and uh, jump backwards and say to the world, this is my family that you all are watching. They are both living legends. Uh, Jay was uh, really a Greek god in the radio in uh, Baltimore. And uh, what you all are seeing from uh, Dr. C, uh, she's been doing for years behind the scenes. So to see her uh, in front of the camera, I'm almost in shock. Uh, but uh, this is great. So kudos to both of you for the work that you're doing and uh, making Baltimore look good around the world. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. And I learned from the best. I learned from you, right? <laughs> so yes. let's jump right in. Right. I learned from the best. I learned from you. Um, let's jump right into it. Grammy nominated. No, I'm sorry. Grammy awarded. Yes. Two. 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 Yeah. Get it right. Huh? Get it right. One. Yes. Two. Get it right. Don't take it away from me. Yes. Let's it talk about it. The shock of my life. So much so, y'all, I didn't even go because I didn't think we were going to win. Uh, we won. Uh, Bus, uh, spoken word uh, and a black person has won a spoken word album in eons uh, and then we were up against a traditional soul gospel so I'm against Jay against Willie Nelson uh, right. against Gaither's brothers this ain't against no Hezekiah Walker or nothing. Right, so right. ain't no way in this category we gonna make it so when my phone started blowing up I'm embarrassed but I gotta tell y'all I wasn't even watching because I didn't think we were gonna win <laughs> you had a faith, man. You, you're a man of faith. You got to keep the faith. Listen, but my heart and my passion has never been in the industry. Right. So I okay. wasn't really wedded. They asked me to jump on it. I did it. I didn't even, it wasn't towards record sales. It wasn't towards nominations. So I'm telling you, God will just blow your mind every time. Right. I'm so proud of you. Listen, hip hop is turning 50. I can't believe it because I know we're only 25. Yes. Hip hop turns 50 <laughs> right in August the 11th. So let's talk about it. Like I, what most people, I don't even know if people really realize it, but Jamal started, and I apologize for calling you Jamal. Oh, that's who I know you as. Um, Jamal started really as the hip hop advocate for the youth for the NAACP and right. really grew the organization and really grew involvement in youth, you know, back in the day and dealt with a lot of legends, right. hip hop legends, right. like really. I really got involved thanks to Russell Simmons. I was national youth director at NAACP and Russell Simmons brought me in to help him moderate the East Coast, West Coast rap rivalry. That's really where I got into it. Um, so uh, I knew uh, Tupac from Baltimore uh, from when he was at uh, School for the Arts. Um, a lot of people don't know he started at Clark Atlanta University uh, the same time I started at Morehouse. And uh, he left in mid-semester uh, to go uh, be a roadie with Digital Underground. Uh, that, that, was, that was the end of the story, but that's really how I got my legs on a national front dealing with uh, hip hop culture. Right. So listen, I, you know, I always like to ask folks since hip hop is turning 50, what was that song that made me say, this is my genre of music that I'm gonna follow, that I'm gonna watch. And maybe what was that moment, that light bulb moment? Like, I, you know, I'm really entrenched into yeah, the culture. When, when I give you this answer, I don't even know if you old enough to even know it. I'm grown, I'm grown, I'm, bro, I'm, 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 I'm grown. I'm Nobody has given you this answer in all of your years of interviewing. Uh, I, <laughs> as much as you have been in the culture, if I had a hundred million dollars and you put a gun to your head, you wouldn't guess it. Right. I, I don't want no gun to my head, but come on. <laughs> from Baltimore, listen. <laughs> the, the, the first song 
uh, I was listening to WEBB in Baltimore. Okay. Right, 1360. 1360. And I heard Orange Juice Jones. Right. I saw you walking in the rain. Right. Well, yeah. And that was on Def Jam. <laughs> yes! I was that like, was what Jam. is happening? Yes! Right. That thing blew me away. I was running home every day after school waiting for them to play that again. Right. And I saw you. Oh, I know. And you him. Play. Walking so in the rain. I got the worst beating. I got the worst beating behind that song. And Jay, you're not familiar, but Jamal and I actually grew up down the street from each other, right? right. Same so, street. Right, 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 right. So the way our houses were set up, we had an attic, right? Mm. And I remember going upstairs, sneaking in the attic with my brother, Jamal. Yep. Yes. Who was listening to it. And so him... He goes, he walks down the attic steps and goes into his bedroom, right? And never tells me that my parents are coming upstairs. Right. And you know, right. we're both PKs out. Right. My father came upstairs and when I tell you, I was sitting there like, um, so I was with, and he was like, there's no one here. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that that's that's where I got it. I, I went from that to cassette singles. Y'all don't even remember cassette singles, boy. When no, you bought cassette singles. Yeah. Look, I'm part of the culture. I mean, most of it, actually, I still have the vinyl for Orange wow. Jones on Def Jam. Yes. On, on, on Def Jam. My first oh. superhero for hip hop was Slick Rick. Wow. The chains, the storytelling. Yeah. Oh, I mean, man. really couldn't. Rick, Ricky, Ricky D was different. Ricky and D then was go definitely, from, uh, definitely different. Who did, uh, uh, the Lex Coop B man, the Benz. Oh, Lost Boys. Lost Boys. Mr. Chick and the Lost Boys. <laughs> Listen, I'm sold forever. Right. Yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Ever. I got you. Absolutely. It's to interesting. Know it is now the largest selling music genre in the world. Right. It is. It is. With and hip hop. Hip hop is not about just about music, as you know. It's about culture. I call you a hip hop pastor. I really did. I've labeled you as a hip hop pastor because it's about. I culture. take this badge of pride. Yes, you know it's about our lifestyle. It's about our fashion. It's about everything. Jamal, you have been great. I'm so excited that we were able to have the opportunity today to speak with you, and keep winning, keep winning. No, I'm so proud all. of you. So I appreciate proud. it. When you finish, send me that sweatshirt. Uh, uh, uh -oh. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 maybe I will. <laughs> Jamal, please be safe, man. You look like you're somewhere in the tropics with your feet in the sand. No, 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 I'm in, I'm in a prayer closet, Jay. I'm I'm, I'm, prayer I'm just telling you what, to <laughs> what it look like, man. I'm listening. We have Courtney. He is a uh, writer, producer, director right. of BET hit show, movie, mm -hmm. The Reading. Okay. Right. When I tell you it is a suspense movie, it right. is a suspense movie. Right. And of course, he is our hometown girl, Monique, in it. Right. Right. And oh, and like when, so I watched the trailer because you know I'm so afraid of suspense and thrillers, right? So I watched the trailer and was like, oh, I gotta wait till Jay comes so I can watch this. I can't right. watch this. Courtney, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Great, we're great. We're How are you great. feeling today? Um, I, I'm still absorbing it and taking everything in. It's been going crazy. Right. Well, going crazy is a good thing. You had to, yeah. you know, and uh, yeah. you know, you had to actually prepare for that, you know, and because that's what we really want anyway. You know, yeah. we, we want to be appreciated. Uh, we want we want folks to love the things that we take part in, you know. We want them to 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 really accept what we doing so let, let's talk about let's talk about what you have BET original what's going on right now um so the reading is a a, a film that I did in 2020 um I went and got it done I went and casted Monique got Monique we finished the film um after the film was done um I went and I approached Lee Daniels to come on and uh help me kind of like edit it down to get a better structure for a faster paced film, he came aboard and then we ended up selling it to BET Paramount last October and it's now streaming on BET Plus 
Um, and I believe it's going to like BET linear in about 40 to 60 days. Good. So, but how do you even do that? I, I know that right now, um, this is the opportunity for folks. They can have ideas and really start to put those things together. Mm -hmm. But those that have great ideas and, you know, great visions and just don't know where to start, how, what advice, how did you, how did you start and what advice do you have to anybody else trying to follow in your footsteps? Um, I would encourage everybody just to do it. And, and, and I don't mean do it in the way that's in your head. I mean, do it in the way that you're capable of doing it. I think we get it. We get in our way a lot because we think that we try to follow all of these rules that maybe Hollywood or somebody has taught us to follow, do it and don't be afraid to fail. And then when you fail, just do it again and do it better. And then when you fail, okay. just do it again and do it better. You don't, I think uh, a lot of times when it comes down to our dreams, we, we're like, well, I need this, 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 this. And for me, um, I've always asked God to give me everything that I need and, and make me be wise enough to know what to do with it. And that was one of the the, the things with this. Monique, um, I, I got in touch with her. I got in touch with Sydney, her husband, and I sent them the script and they were in love with it from, from the jump. Um, I've just always been a person that that I, I just don't take no for no for an answer. There is always a way to create something like God. I feel like God puts the blueprint in your head and it's for you to do the work to right. figure out which direction you can go in. And that that would be the advice for everybody. Just try it. And if you fail and it doesn't look the way that you want it to look, just do it again. Like it's, it's your vision. Just try it again. Right. You know what, man? You just drop a whole bunch of fool, a whole bunch of dimes. I mean, I think that's what happens a lot of the time. Failure is 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 needed, is necessary in order for you to grow. That's where the growth comes in at, right? And a lot of times people don't want to actually, uh, they feel like they're above going through trial, tribulation, and failure. That's where the growth comes in. That's what you need. That's God trying to teach you, you know, how to get past and let you, in, in basically letting you know or letting him know that you are ready for what he has ready for you, you know? For sure. It prepares you for, it, it prepares you on a bigger scale. I've always say when you fail, just try to fail. When you fall, just try to fall forward. Because if you fall forward, you're still ahead of where you were a second ago. And you might not be ahead financially, but you're ahead in your head when it comes down to wisdom. Because now you know what not to do again, even if it's just one little thing so the next time you do it it'll be a little bit better so i just encourage everybody just to do what you take what you have in front of you that you have access to and 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 take a step forward in the direction and again if it doesn't look the way you want to look it just just try it again and then it'll be better the next time i say that courtney yeah. what's next for you um, we're, I actually have a meeting tomorrow, um, with that same discussion, um, people <laughs> are excited about, um, what I have coming up. They're talking sequel, they're talking prequel. Um, I have a show that I've been working on, um, called the amygdala series that I really want to get launched. We're almost done with that. So I'm talking to BET plus about that tomorrow. Um, and I have like a few feature films that I'm really, really interested in getting going this year. So I'm excited about whatever God has for me. I'm on, I'm on the ride. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on the Lord to tell me. I know that's he, right. I, I ain't get here. So I don't know how I'm gonna get to wherever next. I'm just, I'm allowing him to just lead me in the direction he, he wants me to go. Well, I'm, I, we're excited for you. I mean, just listening to you just got me excited. I mean, you put a bunch of thoughts in my head, this five, six, seven minutes we just had you that you graced out, you know, graced the, graced the show. And I appreciate y'all having me. We yeah, really appreciate, appreciate you. you. Courtney, thank you so much. So yes. for more information, we can follow Courtney on IG at Courtney Gaudet. Yes, yes. yes Courtney, yes. thank you, man. We appreciate thank you, family. And, yeah, and congratulations right. with all the success that you have, bro. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. See you oh, soon. No problem. Mm -hmm. no problem. Love business on lock. Valentine's Ooh. Day week. Get it off your chest. Do you Get it off your chest. <laughs> How do you show the person that you love that you love them? Um, by the things that you do. And then in the words that you say, the words need to even up and equal out the, well, the words and the actions need to even up and equal 
the same thing. Like they gotta coincide with each other. Gotta coincide with each other. So if I say that I love you and I got you, I, I, I have to have you. You know what I'm saying? The words need to equal the, let me finish, the actions, right? And the actions need to equal the words. And those things need to go together. Now, um, sometimes we may not, um, it may not be what the other person expects, but it is, it's the fact that you're trying to make sure that they both equal up and match it on the same, the same wavelength. So to your point, I got you has to equal up to what the other person expects because it's a if you have them it's about what they need not about how you think they need it so um i think that people people don't necessarily communicate everything all the time you know what i mean and i'm not even talking about us i'm just saying people that took a minute for us to even get there for you to kind of communicate hey i need this and I need that or I, I it took a minute for me to say hey this is what I need in order to make things whatever that takes time that takes some learning that takes some info that takes some things that you have to you have to want to learn that you have to want to learn that and not everybody just knows it I can't expect you to just know what I'm feeling or how I want to be treated right you know what I mean? I, I can't just expect you to know. You know what I mean? And, and that goes both ways. So I think that it's communication. I think that um, the words need to equal out the actions. And if they don't, um, I think you need to probably tell your partner that they don't equal up. And you guys need to figure out how they can actually equal up and go together. Um, I know you have some good food for me today. So what's the food for thought? I mean, it really just kind of piggybacking off of what Courtney Glade actually said. You know what I mean? Just, you know, you will go through things. The problem is you have to keep going. That that's the ma- that's the that's the magic to it. That's the magic. Nobody has this great like they're blessed and you aren't blessed. It's just they kept going. That's the only thing. You just have to keep going. You're going to you're going to run into something. That's part of it. That that's the growth process. You have to keep going. That's the special thing. And I just can't tell you how important that is. How important that is. I, when you really think about it, you think of some of the, your greatest inventors and people who have done you know, a, a lot of things that have been great, they failed at them. The thing was, they never stopped. So my thing is just this, whatever you're doing, don't stop. If you fail, that's fine. If you fall, fall forward. Just get up and keep going. That was amazing. That was great. Thank you. You know, we had a great show today. Um, special thanks to Courtney Glade, <laughs> <laughs> right our producer. And of course, to Pastor Dr. Jamal Bryant, you know, Grammy, two Grammy award winning, um, Pastor Jamal Bryant, um, special thanks to Fire and Smoke, Cigar Parlor, and Towson, where we've been able to, you know, remotely film when we needed to, right. you know, um, right. and wishing everybody a great love week, a right. great love week. And don't let it just be one day make sure that your actions and your words match and make sure that you show people that you love them every day. That's it. I appreciate it. Change the narrative. That's it. After the show, Dr. Cash Vaughn, Jay Clax, we here, fire and smoke. Shout out to our guests. Once again, Courtney Glade, Courtney Glade and Pastor Jamal Bryant. And we will see you. We appreciate you. Be safe. Love and love.